Asajan, who is behind the world's first head transplant experiment today, denied the success of the first operation on a corpse. Professor Ren Xiaoping, 56, claimed what he and his team had completed was the first surgical model for a human head transplant, not an operation. The news came just days after Italian professor Sergio Canavero claimed that Professor Ren and his team had successfully carried out the world's first human head transplant on a corpse during their 18-hour operation. Professor Canavero also claimed during a press conference in Vienna that a similar operation on a live human would take place imminently. However, Professor Ren said that he doesn't know when the procedure would happen, stressing that there is a long way to go. Professor Ren added that his team had successfully conducted a hair transplant experiment on a dog, in which they resolved the issue of the regrowth of spine. Professor Ren and his team have carried out similar procedure on a mouse. Professor Ren is a PhD supervisor and you S. Educated surgeon from the second affiliated hospital of Harbin Medical University in northwest China's Heilongjiang province. During today's press conference at Harbin Medical University, he announced, Our team recently had a significant scientific breakthrough to complete the first surgical model for hair transplant. He explained that they designed the preclinical operational method on a recently deceased corpse, according to the paper. Apparently, Professor Ren's team have found a solution to help with the regrowth of the spine, a difficult issue to the medical world. Professor Ren then played a video to the journalists which showed his team carrying out a hair transplant experiment on a dog. The surgeon claimed that the dog's spine was completed cut during the experiment, and his team successfully reconnected it with the spine in the new head using a chemical compound called polyethylene glycol. He claimed that the dog could start to walk two weeks after the operation, and run two months after the operation. One year later, the result of the experiment appeared very good. Professor Ren also admitted that the lab dog could not act like a completely normal dog. While being asked by a journalist to explain the details of the reconnection, Professor Ren claimed the question was too professional. He said, I'm not a chemist or pharmacist, I'm a surgeon. To conclude, Professor Ren pointed out that his team had brought a significant, landmark and great contribution to the medical world. He then urged all journalists to read his report on Surgical Neurology International, claiming that was a benchmark of a successful experiment. On November 17, Professor Canavaro, director of the Turin Advanced Neuromodulation Group, announced at a press conference that the world's first human head transplant had been carried out on a corpse by Professor Ren in China.
the controversial professor claimed that during an 18-hour procedure, experts demonstrated that it is possible to successfully reconnect the spine, nerves and blood vessels of a severed head. A similar operation on a live human will take place imminently, said Professor Canavaro. Speaking at the press conference, Professor Canavaro said, For too long nature has dictated her rules to us. We're born. We grow, we age and we die. For millions of years humans has evolved, and 110 billion humans have died in the process. We have entered an age where we will take our destiny back in our hands. It will change everything. It will change you at every level. The first human head transplant, in the human mode, has been realized. The surgery lasted 18 hours. The paper will be released in a few days. Everyone said it was impossible, but the surgery was successful. Professor Canavero added that the team's next step is to perform a forehead swap between brain dead organ donors. And that is the final step for the formal head transplant for a medical condition which is imminent. He said it will be for a medical neurological condition, not for life extension. Asked whether the eventual plans for live procedures would go worldwide after initial tests in China, Professor Canavero said, Given the amount of mean criticism we received I don't think we should go international. For instance, if you still stick to the Frankenstein shtick, which doesn't make sense, then no. This is a medical condition for people who are suffering awfully, so it isn't a joke. Response from the medical community to news of the procedure has been wholly critical. Many professionals have branded the experiment as having negligible scientific or medical, and have questioned Professor Canavero's ethics. Dr. James Fields, NHS Principal Research Scientist at the University Hospital of South Manchester's Transplant Centre, said, Unless Canavero or REM provide real evidence that they can perform a head, or more appropriately, a whole body transplant on a large animal that recovers sufficient function to improve quality of life, this entire project is morally wrong. Perhaps far more worryingly, this endeavor appears to revolve around immortality, but in each case a body is needed for the transplant, and therefore a human needs to die as part of the process. Where does Canavero propose to get the donor body from, if the goal is to tackle the laws of nature? Has Canavero considered how he will tackle acute rejection of the constituent parts of the head? What will rejection of the skin, muscles, eyes, and brain manifest as? I hope this is not just egotistical pseudoscience. Dr. Jan Schnur, professor of neurotions at the University of Oxford, added, I find it inconceivable that ethics committees in any reputable research or clinical institutions would give a green light to living human head transplants in the foreseeable future. Indeed, attempting such a thing given the current state of the art would be nothing short of criminal.
as a neuroscientist, I would really quite like the general public to be reassured that neither I nor any of my colleagues think that beheading people for an extremely long shot experiment is acceptable. It is not. Professor Canavero first made his shocking plans public in 2015. Severely handicapped Russian computer scientist Valery Spiridonov initially volunteered to be a human guinea pig by undertaking the world's first live head transplant. Mr. Spiridonov, 31 now accepts his hopes of his head being grafted onto a new healthy body are over. It is likely the first transplant will be carried out on someone from China, and a large number of volunteers are already claimed to have come forward. In preparation, scientists attached the head of a rat onto the body of another in May. In the disturbing experiment, researchers in China affixed the heads of smaller donor rats onto the backs of larger recipients, creating two-headed animals that lived an average of just 36 hours. The team, which involved Professor Canavaro, managed to complete the transplant without causing blood loss-related brain damage to the donor. In the study, researchers from Harbin Medical University in China and Professor Canavero built upon earlier head grafting experiments to figure out how to avoid damage to the brain tissue during the operation, as well as long-term immune rejection. Previously, scientists have attempted the procedure on dogs and monkeys, which helped to test neural preservation when blood flood to the brain had been cut off, they explain in the paper published CNS Neuroctions. But, long-term survival of the specimens was not a priority. The researchers used three rats for each operation, a smaller rat to be the donor, and two larger rats, acting as the recipient and the blood supply. To maintain blood flow to the donor brain, they connected the blood vessels from that rat to veins of the third rat using a silicon tube, which was then passed through a peristaltic pump. Then, once the head had been transplanted onto the second rat's body, the researchers used vascular grafts to connect the denus thoracic aorta and superior vena cava to the carotid artery and extracorporeal veins of the recipient. According to the team, there was no injury to the donor brain tissue as a result of blood loss in the experiments. And, after the surgery, the donor head was still able to blink and feel pain. The two-headed creatures lived 36 hours on average following the procedure, Business Insider reported. Still, with the addition of the peristaltic pump and vascular grafting to the technique, the researchers say long-term survival could be a possibility.